It's lunch party day! Woo! 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 Oh up bright and early and of course the first thing we did was get some breakfast then we popped over to one of my favorite local bakeries to pick up the cookies that i commissioned for the launch and guys they were so cute and we had so many tons of leftovers can we just look at how cute the cookies are so i got a bunch of ghosts some of the bats and then in here look at these little gravestones ah so cute about all ready to head out and i wanted to show you guys everything i'm taking with me so first of all we have this first little basket with all of these like gobbity gub toys and stuff there's like finger puppets and bubbles and like goopy bracelets and spider rings so fun and then all of the friendship bracelets that are either reader themed or the odds themed and then of course <laughs> the candy. We got all the cookies over here. We've got my posters back here. And then in this box, I've got my book because I want people to like sign this as a guest book. I've got bookmarks, pens for people to sign this, note cards so people can write their names down if they want their books personalized and I can do that for them. And then of course the pens that I'm going to be signing with. We've got coloring sheets and then we've got all of the crayons. And then in this... <laughs> Of course, Emily the bat is coming with us. We got some more fun little foam props. These are headstones, some table mats, an easel to hold up my posters. This is a chalkboard where I'm gonna be <laughs> writing little messages. And yeah, just some more little boxes of decor and stuff. The only other thing we have going on that we haven't put together yet is behind me. We have a double drink dispenser and Brian makes this cute little drink called Witch's Brew and he puts like the little sparkly glitter, I don't know, makes it look like a potion. And uh, we got all the stuff over there to go ahead and make it. And yeah, I think we're all good to go. I just need to get ready myself and then we head out. All right, this is the look. I want to be chill. I want to be cool. And of course I got my little mushroom glasses chains. I have a dog lapping water, but I have a million things to put up, but it was such a good night such a good time oh my gosh i have no, there's nothing left in my body at this point for those of you introverts out there you know that when you have to be on for so many hours there's not i'm gonna need like three days to emotionally recover if you're my friends don't text me <laughs> we are ordering mexican food and vegging out the rest of the night aren't we babe yes we are chauncey's very excited that we're home so it's me hi buddy get you some food I could not be bothered to even get out of my pajamas for this clip, so you're welcome. It is the next day and I am here to wrap up the event and also give you a haul of some of the things that I brought back with me. But first of all, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. If you guys do author events and you are affected by mass amounts of social interaction, prepare. I have taken the next three days off of any activities that require me to leave the house at all. 
I'm not talking to anyone. So let's chat about the event. It was incredible. Um, as you saw, everything looked so cute. The store itself is adorable. I did not take any clips of the actual event itself when I was talking or signing because surprise, like a lot of children actually showed up, which was really cool. I feel like the evil witch in Hansel and Gretel where I'm like, come children. <laughs> and they showed up. Yeah, I didn't want to expose their faces on the World Wide Web, that seemed a little bit shady. So no clips of the actual event, but it was very lovely. I was surrounded by wonderful friends and family and a bunch of people that came in off the streets. There was actually an antique car show going on on the road that I showed you guys I was driving down. Later in the day, that road was actually blocked off and there was just like a ton of like fancy old jalapias and stuff. And that actually brought in like a lot of business because people were walking by like with their kids and then they saw that there was a middle grade author event going on. So like perfect, perfect timing. I think I sold like 25 books alone to people who just wandered in from the car show, which I was like, awesome. I'm not complaining, but everyone there was so sweet and kind and they all had the most engaging questions to answer. My fourth grade English teacher came and that was just like such a moment for me because she is the reason that I, I feel like I really started to read more seriously. So that meant a lot. And then I got invited to an in-person book club, which is so cool. Apparently the indie bookstore like hosts a mom's book club and I was like, I'm not a mom, but can I join? And they were like, yeah. So I might be joining an in-person book club, which is so cool. Overall, it was a great event. Lots of people, but still like, just like a chill atmosphere at the same time, which like chill for me, I have anxiety disorder. So I'm like, but relaxing otherwise. <laughs> I did get quite a few things while I was there though. Um, I have been slowly decorating the back of my Kindle with stickers and I wanted to get a few more. I have some of my favorite medias here. My favorite movie of all time is Adam's Family Value. So of course I have Debbie and Fester and then <laughs> Prison Mike. But I just found some really cute stickers while I was there. So of course I had to get them and I was like, maybe I'll put them on the back of my Kindle. There's this one, which is adorably autumnal. And then I also got this little cutie. I also got three books while I was there. Now, of course, I bought a copy of my own book to support myself and my career and, you know, be my own boss. The one book that I picked up for the spooky season that I've been eyeing for a while and that I've heard lots of great things about that I finally got for myself is Her Majesty's Royal Coven. From what I understand about this, this is set in England and there is a secret branch of the government that is like all witches. <laughs> just sounds like a fun time. I do like a nice like kind of cozy fantasy. I don't know if that's what this exactly is going to be but it just gives me that feeling. I decided to finally pick up a copy for myself and read it this spooky season. And one thing I love to do when I go into a bookstore is pick up a book that I have never heard anything about and the stranger and more niche <laughs> the book is the better. So I found this in the non-fiction section. It's by Andrew Cote and it's called Honey and Venom, Confessions of an Urban Beekeeper. Apparently this guy is really famous. I've never heard of him. That means nothing because I'm a hermit that lives in a swamp. But this is apparently half nonfiction about apiarianism mm -hmm. and half like memoir of this guy's life as he travels all over the world to increase bee populations. It's kind of a soft goal of mine to one day have an apiary in my backyard. So I thought this would be just like a fun topic to pick up. Also, um, nonfiction November is coming up. So this would be a good one for that. And then last but not least, I got some absolutely gorgeous flowers from my fans. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> They're from my mom and my best friend. But it's very funny because they both had the exact same idea, which I love very much. <laughs> <laughs> How cute. And this one has like a little, little like witchy lady. I think she's like a little cat or something. I just think that's adorable. And you can bet your bottom dollar that I will be repurposing these pots because <gasps> oh, and my whole house just smells like a funeral home. What a delightful aroma. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. If you haven't been able to pick up a copy of The Odds or even The Glass Witch yet, it's spooky season. It's the perfect time. Order links are always down below in my bio, in my link tree. You can check them out, but also they are available anywhere books are sold. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. That way we can hang out all the time and I will see you in the next one. See you guys. Bye.